Box cake mixes may feel familiar and simple, but there's a lot of mystery packed into these small packages. What kind of mistakes have you probably been making? Keep watching to find out. According to a 2013 report from Bon Appetit, box cake mix was first patented in the 1930s by a Pittsburgh-based molasses company called P. Duff & Sons. While the recipe has changed a bit over the years, the basic idea of selling convenience by pre-mixing ingredients has only become more popular with busy consumers, particularly after World War II. However, while the popularity of box cake mix is based on ease and simplicity, it's a surprisingly complex process. A lot can go wrong. Mash spoke to baking expert and test kitchen director at Wilton Cake Decorating and Recipe Elizabeth Nelson to get the lowdown on making the perfect cake mix cake. According to Nelson, there's one hugely important step to set yourself up for success with a cake mix. She said, One of the most common mistakes people make is not thoroughly reading the instructions before getting started. It might sound like a no-brainer, but not being prepared can derail your baking experience. You don't want to start tearing open packages and mixing batter, only to realize you're way short on vegetable oil. While reading the instructions is important, that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to scrap the whole thing if you make a small mistake. As Nelson told Mashed, cake mixes are generally pretty forgiving. The pioneer woman thinks so too. It's so easy to use a cake mix, and really this cake is so delicious you won't even know you didn't make the cake from scratch. Other than recipe preparedness, the most important thing to focus on during box cake prep is mixing time. Box mixes generally include a specific amount of time that the batter needs to be mixed for best results. People tend to simply guess how long they've been stirring the batter based on the feel of the batter's consistency, but that guesstimation might leave a lot of room for error. Talking with Mashed, Nelson recommended actually using a timer to make sure you're not mixing for too long or short of a period of time. Precision is also important when it comes to ingredient quantities. This is another factor you want to avoid ballparking, as adding the wrong amounts of ingredients can easily throw off the cake's texture and consistency. Instead, Nelson offers this recommendation to home bakers. Carefully check the ingredient measurements when you are adding the liquid to the cake mix. Brands vary with how much water, oil slash butter, and eggs are needed, and their instructions can change from time to time. If you do make a slip-up, such as adding too much water to your batter, don't fret. Nelson notes that if you add a few tablespoons of all-purpose flour, it can save your overwatered cake mix batter from disaster. For the ambitious home chef, there are also a few easy ways to kick your box cake mix up a notch. Making easy substitutions, like swapping water for more flavorful liquids like buttermilk or coffee, or even adding one more egg than the recipe calls for, can help the cake go from good to great. Adding some additional yummy ingredients, such as a citrusy lemon or lime zest, a little extra dash of vanilla, or homemade frosting, can give the cake a boost of flavor that makes it taste just like a homemade dessert. For those who prefer a super simple cake flavor, there are still a few simple tips out there for enhancing the richness and sponginess of a box cake. Simply Recipes recommend softening butter before adding it to the mix makes it easier to beat, resulting in a smoother batter. Elizabeth Nelson also says that warming the eggs after taking them out of the fridge can make it easier to mix them into the batter, leading to a fluffier cake. Just cover your eggs in warm tap water and let them sit while you read over that recipe one more time. These simple tricks will ensure a moist and tasty finished product. But even if you just follow the basic recipe, your cake will probably still turn out just fine. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more MASH videos about baking tips and tricks are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.